Welcome to another episode of Tradesmith. Now, I haven't seen you all in a while, but I am back and I had a lot of work to do. But I want to show you a little bit more of what I plan to do in a month. So, we're going to first really focus on making sure that But today I want to just show you just really quick what I'm doing is really working on showing you all hotkeys and of course hotkeys that I'm using that is going to be in my uh, trader view. I'm sorry, not trader view, but uh, my warrior trading simulation. This is Sterling that I am using. And of course, by default, when you have these type of platforms, you can go into the, um, you know, the, uh, the view settings and you can see that you can enable the hotkeys. And when you enable these hotkeys, you can start customizing these and start adding them to your stream deck. But a lot of people want to know, well, what's the difference? And the difference is either you can use your keyboard or you can use something like your stream deck, which is here. This is a stream deck. I'm not going to show you how to configure this today. I will do another video about that, but really just showing you how it works. Um, so again, if you look at the screen here, you can see I'm kind of playing around and, and you only want to do this in a simulator when you're practicing your hotkeys. You don't want to do this on a live account. So for example, if I do a shift one, you can see that nothing happened. And that's because one of the rules is that you actually have to have a window selected. So these are order windows, these four here, and you can see that I'm looking at currently eyes. So no matter what, every time I select the order window, of course it changes the, the, the chart here. So when I see that um, I have it selected, which is the blue here, now if I do the shift one, so if you look at my screen here, if I hit this shift one, uh, you'll notice that I actually have uh, an order in. And if you look back, um, you can see that there's an order that I just put in. So I'll just do it again. That was a thousand shares. Um, I hit it again. Now I have 2000. And then when I want to get out, I'm just going to do the control Z. So once I do the control Z, I can just hit that and go out. So that's really how hotkeys are working. Um, even if I look at the chart here up at the top, you can see that I'm potentially hidden profit, but not really. I see that I got in at 277 and it just gives you that edge, that speed that you need in order to, uh, get in and get out real quick. Now, normally when I enter into a trade, I use the order window and I just kind of hit buy cause you can control it and I'm going to get out there. And you can see that I just uh, got a little bit of a profit that was there. But what I normally do is when I get ready for a trade, I'm looking for that actual price action that I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for the five minute high or the next one minute high, which in this one would be 284, I'll just go ahead and put 284 in the window here. So, um, and that is you know, you, you can understand that I'm still selecting this window, but if I want to look at another stock, I can still keep looking. I'm not in any trades. You can see that there, this is the order window here and I can look around at some of the other stocks. I can see things are selling off there. Not really interested. This is under the VWAP, not interested. So it helps you to get your speed. And I can see that eyes is the stock that I should be watching because I can see that it's going up and remember, oh, it actually already passed my 84 mark. So I'm a little bit late on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set another. Um, I will just show you what I probably would do here. I wait for a little bit of a pullback. And that is where hotkeys are really good too, because you can go ahead and hit that shift one when it pulls back. Now that's a big top and tail there. So I normally wouldn't do that. But I'm just doing this for an example. I'm going to hit it once it dips down a little bit. Normally halfway down this green, I probably would let it um, come to about here and then I'll get into the trade. And I'm going to get long 
right around 89. Oh, I have to make sure the window is selected. So I'm just getting in at 89 here. And you can see how accurate that was. I can just hit that, you know, that hot key. And from here, I'm just going to see if I'm going to make anything. If not, that's where the bailout is important. And that's where I can hit the control Z. So I'm going to see what this is going to do. You got to let the, the trade kind of play itself out. It's still kind of bullish, making a bull flag. If it passes this, that's a little bit of a breakout. If it passes this high of 305. So I want to pay myself around 305 or more. So if it doesn't break that 305, then I'll just go ahead and get out, which that's what I'll do. Uh, and you got to make sure your window is selected. That's one thing that's important. I'm waiting for it to break the 305. It's not going to break it. So I'll just go ahead and put an order to get out. Oh, I hit my hotkeys a little too much that time. Oh, actually, that's one thing that's very important is making sure that um, you don't hit the wrong keys. And that's where we'll get into the Delgado. So I did get out and I made a good trade. I um, got filled pretty good. So I do want to mention that um, the... One thing you do want to get used to is all the different hotkeys that are here. Um, so I'm going to go to view and settings um, and then go to hotkeys. Um, one thing I like to do once I um, get this kind of under my belt is I do export this full list into a PDF and, and kind of read it. But by default, um, you don't get all of these hotkeys. But of course, in the Warrior Trading Program, they do give you some of these hotkeys that are here. But at the end of the day, you have to customize them yourself. So you can see the way that um, they're made is that you basically have an order window that you basically will pre-populate. And a lot of them will be load and go. Uh, and then, of course, when you name it, you're naming it based on what that action is doing. So I'm buying uh, a 1,000 shares. Uh, on the axe, remember you can always buy on the axe or on the bid. Uh, and you wanna give yourself when you're day trading those buffers. So of course, this is five cent. Uh, and that's how you're able to make sure that your order get filled. So, uh, but basically you're going through each one of these forms you put and just filling it in and you're hitting okay. And of course it'll create you a rule that is here. And of course you can assign it to a hotkey. Now, you all know about Stream Deck and how you can use that. Basically, you're making it so that you don't have to hit on all of these keys here, Shift 1 and Shift 2. And I used to play football, so my hands are a little bit bad. So um, I end up hitting the other keys. So what a Stream Deck would do is just basically make it so that you're hitting one button and you're good to go. The reason why it's not good to do a one button hotkey on your keyboard, again, because you can easily make a mistake, but a stream deck is a little more intuitive. So you can use your stream deck to do something like that. So that's really it. I just wanted to make sure that you all have everything that you need and just kind of learn what I'm doing with these hotkeys. If you want to know more about this, again, like and subscribe on this channel. And I will definitely be giving you some more information on some of these hotkeys. Let me know what platform that you're using. And when you tell me about that platform, let me know if you uh, are using the Stream Deck. Now in the, the description below, I will leave a link. Give me some affiliate love. Go ahead, get that Stream Deck. And if you do, I'll definitely begin to do more videos and show you how you can add those same um, hotkeys to your Stream Deck. So looking forward to definitely hearing and seeing more of you. So again, like and subscribe to this video and I will talk to you later.